Hi guys, it's me, Faye here at Faye Desk, and welcome to my first video of 2016. It's so weird saying that. I can't believe it's a new year already, and so much stuff has gone on and happened in my little world over this last year, and it's just all been a bit crazy. But I will be doing a update video on all the, uh, just like a little life. Uh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, this is Saturday and I'm really tired for working all week. But I'll just be doing a little life update on everything that's going on. But anyway, this video is my intentions jar video. And as it's been a tradition on my channel for the last few years now, I like to, um, when the year's ended before I make my new intentions, I like to go through my jar and see what I've accomplished and what I haven't accomplished. And then when I've done my new intentions, I shall sh shall share with you what I'm putting in my jar. So this was my jar for 2015, or 2015, I haven't decorated it yet for the new year, I was waiting to do this video first, so you probably remember this from last year if you saw it. So let's dig in and see how I got on, this is a bit nerve wracking as I know I haven't done too good. Lose weight, we're going to say I didn't do too good on that intention. Start selling on Etsy, no I didn't do good on that intention. Be confident. Mm, I'm a little bit more confident than what I was this time last year, so I suppose, I guess, maybe. Manage my time better. I'm, that's still a work in progress. Exercise regularly. I go to the gym now, but that was only started at the end of the year. So I suppose, I don't know if that really counts. Grow something. I haven't grown anything, so I need to grow something. Make a vision board. I really need to do that this year, as I didn't do that. Uh, spend more time with friends, again, that's something that I need to work on. Launch my beauty channel, I need to do that. Uh, finish decorating my room. I'm so, so close to being finished. I did do more since this time last year. I literally have one wall left and my, this one that you can see behind me. I'm so close to finishing, hopefully finishing next month. Work with fairies regularly, I need to work on that. Uh, find time for meditation, I need to work on that. Walk the dog regularly, I need to work on that. Be a more active witch, again, I need to work on that. Um, Customise my planner, I did do that. So that was a yay. Make a dream binder, I need to do that. Journal often, I need to work on that. Be happy. I need mean, that's still a work in progress. Um, start scrapbooking. I need to work on that. Write my novella. I need to. I didn't do that. Reach 500 subscribers on YouTube. So close to that one. I think the last time I checked, I'm like 200. No, 200, 400, and like 15 or something like that. So I'm literally just shy of that. Go to Nashville. I didn't do that so I need to do that so I really want to do that um save money regularly that's a work in progress I need to carry on with that get dream capture and fairy star tattoos I need to do that as I got ooh, you can't see from this angle but I got another tattoo I'm saying one of my sister so I did get a tattoo so I sort of did it but not the one I wanted revamp my book of shadows I need to work on that Learn tarot properly, I need to work on that. Complete my website blog, I'm still working on that. Blog weekly on makeup and wicker, I need to work on that. And the final one, read more, which actually I've been doing really well on that one. So, as you can see, <laughs> I'm not doing too great on my intentions, but this year... Hopefully I have a feeling that things are going to be different, like different in a good way. But yeah, so stay tuned to see what... Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Desk and here's the second part of my video which was my um, Intention Draw 2016 or 2016 for those of you that say it's like that. But sorry, I'm just sort of shifting as I didn't feel like I was in frame better, less better. Um, 
So the first part of the video was obviously what I usually do. I think this is my third year of doing this now. So I get my attentions jar down and I go through them all and I show you guys like what what I've done, what I haven't done, what's been a work in pro what's like still a work in progress sort of type situation. And sorry if I sound a bit nasally, I've had a really bad cold. But um and yes, but this year I mean, I'm really delayed on doing my intentions jar. I've usually by now, I mean, I'm filming this on the 24th of January. I did the first part of the video a couple of weeks ago, and usually by now I've done my second part of my video. I've usually done my second part, well, like the whole video, and it's up and loaded, and ages ago. <clears throat> but I don't know, I've really been putting it off this year and I don't know why as I really love doing intentions and stuff and I was really excited about it but I sort of felt a bit daunted and like overwhelmed and I think I sort of knew I knew deep down inside that I hadn't done as well as I'd wanted to do last year and it, I guess I just sort of put it off but I felt like I had so many intentions like too, too, too many intentions and it was just... I don't know, it just felt like it was too much. And I sort of wanted to simplify things this year, but I wanted to have SMART goals. So for those of you who don't know what SMART goals are, it's, like an, it's an acronym for basically specific, measurable, attainable, um, realistic and time-scaled goals. So I'd been watching quite a good, uh, quite a few sort of, planner type videos on that sort of thing and I thought well I'm gonna try and make my goals so they are more <clears throat> so they don't seem so uh out of reach I guess but I I found personally when I was looking through all of my intentions that I had for last year the, the one main criticism I would say of my intentions is that I found that they weren't they weren't specific enough like I'd say things like lose weight but I wouldn't give myself any other sort of parameters or any sort of like I want to lose so much weight by or I would not even give myself like a ballpark figure and all of my ones I'd have stuff like read more or start scrapbooking I didn't have any sort of like specifics or anything to sort of guide me so I <clears throat> very much sat down and had <coughs> and bared that in mind this year when I was making um, making my intentions so, as I usually do in my jar, I took off last year's decoration, and this year's quite a different one. I had some um, Project Life cards, and so they're basically like for like scrapbooking, like Project Life and stuff, and I found a pretty butterfly one, and it's got like a um, bit to write a script there. So, I was going to cut it down to size, but it looks nice full size, it fits the jar nice. So I've just got very simple this year, so I've just used that, and then I've just got written in just an old blue biro my intentions jar 2016 and I've just stuck a little cute you can't see it in this light damn I just stuck a cute little told store there and then just a sticker there that says have fun and as you can see I don't know if you can tell but I've cut down on my intentions a lot <clears throat> last year I think I had since last year I think I had must have had 20 odd uh yeah 20 odd intentions I think so I had like a lot no, I reckon it must have been nearer 30 intentions last year, so I think I've narrowed it down to about 15 this year, but I've been a lot more specific. And I did what I did last year again, is that <clears throat> what I do is sim super simple, is I'll write my intentions down, I'll have like a piece of uh, lined paper, and I'll write my intention on a line or two, and then I'll leave a couple of lines in between, write the next and so on, I just tear the page out and then just snip between each line and it's just really easy but before I snip it out I after I've written them all I take pictures of them and save them on my phone okay, on my iPhone in favorite so it's in my favorites folder so I can have a look at them at any time of the year without having to go through my jar and I feel like I don't I feel like I'm ruining I don't know I feel like I've just sealed it now with more my intentions in there and all my sort of like good vibes and I don't really want to go and disturb it but I want to be able to look at look at it in the year to sort of be able to keep myself like um, keep myself accounted <clears throat> accountable sorry so I've taken pictures of it and saved it so I'll be able to have a look at it and see how I'm going whenever I need to just an FYI do you like this case I love it but anyway yeah so I'll give you a couple of examples I won't read all through all of them but 
things like another one of my intentions I had last year that I didn't do <clears throat> was I had to grow something whereas that is just so broad it could mean anything I could mean grow vegetables in my garden or grow flowers or you know but what I meant and what I knew I meant but I hadn't given myself any specifics as I knew that I wanted to grow something on my windowsill in my bedroom so I had to think about it and I thought oh I love lavender I love the smell and obviously lavender is such a multi-purpose like herb you can use it for anything and obviously I could use it in rituals I could use it in beauty products like scents and candles and I just thought lavender so I've put grow lavender on my windowsill <clears throat> so I made that into a more into a smart goal because I made it specific and it's something attainable and it's simple and I've actually not just been so broad by just saying grow something I've actually given something specific and I've said where I want to grow it as well um <clears throat> what else have I got that can give the example uh, da, da, da. Um, um, um. so things like <clears throat> I'd had another one last year that was go to the gym more or no just go I think it was even yeah it was either go to the gym more or just go to the gym and again that's not very specific whereas this time I know that for my fitness goal I want to increase my stamina and like my overall health and fitness and the way I'm going to do that is by going to the gym so I've put increase my stamina by going to the gym four times a week <clears throat> which is attainable for me because I've started I've got myself into the habit of going although I've been ill last week so I didn't go to the gym but I've got myself in the habit of going four times a week I go after work Monday, Tuesday, away in on a Wednesday and go Thursday, Friday. So I know it's attainable because I've already started doing it. And I want to take up swimming again. So I've said I go one day on the weekend. <clears throat> so that's something that I've made it attainable, realistic and uh, specific. And yeah, so, uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I wanted a saving goal for this year as I wanted to get saving as I have road trip plan next year and just savings for when I start my business properly and just in general and instead of just saying I want to save money I've put that I want to save £50 a month into my ISA account so again I've been specific by the amount um, where I'm going to save it how often I'm going to save it as well and I've been realistic because I could have said I want to save £500 a month but that's not realistic because £500 a month is, near, is just under half of my wages. So that's not that's not a realistic amount of month to, say, to save because obviously I have bills and life and other things. So obviously by saving £50 a month I've started alone, done something realistic. Whereas I know I can easily save an extra £50 a month. So if I want to increase that amount then I can. So it's always better to start low with things like that and then you can... See how you get on and then um, raise it and whatnot. But yeah, so that's just like a couple of ideas. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I really would love to know what your intentions are for 2016. And also how you got on in 2015 and whether you sort of like me sort of slipped up at the wayside. Or you did really well and achieved some of the things that you wanted to achieve. But yeah, let me know. Like, comment below. I'd love to know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very soon. Blessed be.